Snack has played a, a huge part in my training camp. The protein, the, the ZMA, everything. The, the pre-workout has played such a major part in my training camp. Keeping me healthy, keeping me recovered, keeping me feeling good, strong, and ready for my next workout. Hey everybody, how's it going? Marcos Viegas here in Las Vegas being joined with Caleb Plant who's uh, getting geared up to take on Canelo Alvarez November 6th on pay-per-view for the right to be called Undisputed Super Middleweight Champion. Caleb, thank you for uh, chatting with us. I'm going to ask you the most cliche question ever, but I, I got to start off. You know, you're a month away from uh, this fight. How has the training been and how has camp been? Camp's been good. Um, you know, weight's good, sparring's been good, the track, my miles, everything is on point. And uh, like you said, we're halfway through camp, and I'm just looking to finish um, the second half the way I started the first half. So, in this last part of camp, like what phase of, of training does this take you to now? Like, could, could you let the fans know, like, what in specific in this last part of camp are you focusing on? I mean, you know, I'm not going to get too specific, but just. Uh, like I said, continuing to, to finish out the second half of camp the way I started it. And um, sparring has been going great, just going to continue to sharpen up. And um, like I said, right out this last, last half of camp. So with the press conference, like now that we had a few weeks removed from it, like what, what the heck happened there, Caleb? Because I, I see you, like from covering you, you've always been very even tempered. Like nothing like really like annoys you, like pisses you off. Like you're very, very cool. So what, I guess what led to that escalation? Um, well, what led to my escalation was him pushing me. Yeah. So, I mean, if you put your hands on me in that manner, then, you know, maybe a lot of you would disagree, but... Oh, no, 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 no. I, I think anybody, yeah, you get pushed, you're going to... Yeah, yeah, you're going to retaliate. So, um, you know, why he got so irritated and lost his cool, you know, that's a question for him. With uh, what happened, you know, the slap and then him, you know, slapping back and everything like that, what do you make of fans saying that that's like an indication of how the fight's going to go because he was able to put, like, punches on you and stuff? I mean, I caught him with a slap, and then he caught me with a slap. But, you know, I had my sunglasses on, and, um, you know, we were staring at each other, and he took his sunglasses off, but I wasn't about to follow suit and, you know, do what he's doing. And so, um, but when he caught me, like I said, it pushed my sunglasses up and, and left a scratch. As you can see, it's nothing that's like, you know, going to hold us back from the fight or needed stitches or, you know, the next day I was sparring, then that Saturday I was sparring, and, you know, it hasn't been an issue at all. Like I said, it just sunglasses pushed my... Um, Push my skin up right here, and uh, we put a bandaid over it and kept on going. So yeah, I, I was worried when I saw it. I was like, "Oh no!" Yeah, like a lot of people were worried, and you know, social media is going to do what social media does. But you know, I try to tell people that it's just a scratch, and you know, it's not a big deal. But of course, you know, in their eyes, it's like, "Oh, of course he would say that." You know what I'm saying? So I know everyone was worried, but like I said, I mean, you can see it for yourself. Just, just a little scratch. He got one on me. I got one on him. But you know, the difference is, I just have my sunglasses on. So. Does it make it more personal now in your eyes because of that escalation or it doesn't change anything? Mm, I mean, it can't get too much personal than fighting for the undisputed championship of the world. So, I mean, you know, I take that, that altercation with a grain of salt. I mean, I've been a lot of, in a lot of quite a few scuffles in my life and, you know, that definitely doesn't rank on the top of that list. So, I mean, it's just a thing. When you look at this fight, Caleb, what do you think is going to be the key to winning this fight? Just being myself. I feel like if I go out there and be myself, then um, you know that's what that's going to be my key to victory. I feel like I got all the tools in the bag, all the tools necessary to get my hand raised. Not just get it raised, but get it raised in fashion. And um, it just comes down to me going out there and being myself. Your style has classically given Canelo problems. Like he's not good with guys that move and use the jab. But Canelo has gotten some decisions go his way in Vegas that many felt shouldn't have not gone his way. Is there a worry that if you do go to the decision, you might not get the cards in your favor given that? No, no, no. I can't worry about things like that. that you know, those are things that, out of my, that are out of my control. I believe in boxing. I believe in the sport. And, uh, you know, I believe that the judges will do their job and do it correctly on that night. And, you know, it'll be a, a fair shake. And, you know, the, the right winner will walk away. And um, that's me. If you get crowned undisputed, what does that mean for you and, and what you've been through in your life and the struggles you've had to finally attain that moment? Do you feel like it's, it's finally destiny fulfilling itself or does it mean that much more? I mean, it would, it's going to be indescribable, you know, I mean, this is, I literally feel like this is my destiny, like, that's what I feel like I'm walking into, like, I'm literally about to walk in and fulfill my destiny, so, this is something I truly believe in my head, I truly believe in my heart, and um, I'm just waiting for November 6th for that bell to ring so I can go out there and, you know, fulfill that, it's going to be, it's going to mean a lot.
boxing lesson you feel on your end? <laughs> it's going. It'll be a lot of lessons that night. Yeah. Caleb, good catching up with you. We'll catch up with you uh, further along in camp. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh man, appreciate you guys. Thank you.